Hello everyone and welcome, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. In this video we are actually making history, yes, we are building the world's first ship tunnel in City Skylines. But before we start working on this project, I feel that I need to give you some context revolving this special build. We are heading over to Norway and the thing about Norwegians are that they love their tunnels, they're really good at making tunnels and they're even better at driving through them. They love it so much in fact that in 2016 the Norwegian government decided that they're gonna make a tunnel for their boats as well. Now Norway's got two things for them, and that's oil, that's mountains, and yeah, yeah that's, that's really much it. Using ships to carry goods or passengers through narrow fjords by the coast is slow and often a riskful business. So in order of saving time, they are working on building the world's first ship tunnel. The tunnel will be almost 2 kilometers long and will make ferries and cargo ships save a lot of time, but also allow ships to avoid going through a very treacherous part of the sea. The safety aspect of this is reportedly why they're building this tunnel. It will be 37 meters tall and 26 and a half meters wide and it will accommodate ferries and crews and cargo ships. They are going to blast out 8 million metric tons of rock and the total estimated cost is roughly 275 million pounds or closely to 334 million dollars. That is actually classified as a stupid amount of money and that is the main reason why there's a lot of people against this project. Because according to a report done by Atkins Norway and Oslo Economics, each ship going through the tunnel will cost £2,400 for 40 years. And that is if there are 10 to 12 ships going through the tunnel each and every day for 40 years. The tunnel is also designed by a famous architect firm called Snöhetta. They design buildings like the Shanghai Grand Opera House, the Norwegian National Opera and Ballet, Calgary's new central library and even Times Square. The building process is set to start around 2019 or 2020 and the tunnel is supposed to be finished by 2023. But why wait? Let's make history today, shall we? If it wasn't obvious, you're going to need some mods in order to make this work. So if you thought this was cool and wanted to do something like this yourself while playing on console, then I apologize. But the good thing is, you don't need that many mods or custom assets in order to make this. So if you have a computer and it's fairly slow, you can make this work easily. I have some extra mods running right now, but that is purely cosmetic and has nothing to do with what we're building in this video. So the mods and assets you're going to need is move it, fine road tool, prop and tree anarchy, fine road anarchy, prop snapping, basic slow profiles, natural slow profiles. So here we are in the game. The map we're building on is called uh, Norway Ramberg Vanilla by the great Mr. Miyagi and we are using the realistic European map theme with the realistic LUT made by Captain Soap. As you can see this is the area that we're going to be working on. The tunnel will go through this bit of land and connect these two bodies of water. The first thing I did was to raise the highway and the train tracks off the ground so that I can place down a canal underneath it. The canal is very easy, I just made sure it was straight and that it was low enough so the water could flow through it. And after the water had settled I used natural slow profiles. Now these are networks and they sort of act like roads with uh, multiple segments and nodes. I place two of the slope profiles on each side of the canal and they will act like the roof of this tunnel. After I place them down I used move it to click and drag the segments to the right position so the canal was completely covered. Now there are several techniques to use to make a natural looking roof to a tunnel like this. Ploppable grass by steam user Ronix are props that could be used but it would require an insane amount of them in order to complete a tunnel like uh, this, such a, a big tunnel like this. Another thing we could have done is to use procedural objects, often called PO. And with PO you can take almost any prop in the game and change for example its size. Now it was possible to take a prop from ploppable grass and increase its size that it covers the entire tunnel, but by doing so it can often glitch out and become invisible at certain angles. But by using slope profiles, we only need two 
of these networks and they never glitch out and they even change the color in order to match the terrain. Now you can probably see that the terrain that we're working on is completely flat and there is a good reason for that. I first wanted to go through a mountain just like in real life, however I got some difficulties with the colors of these slope profiles. So I placed down a canal going directly over the mountains and just move it to drag it all the way down so it would be at the same level as the sea level. And by lowering the canal down it would change the ground texture from what was the mountain's original texture. So after I placed some slope profiles I saw that since they only covered the canal that was cutting through the mountain that they had a completely different texture than the rest of the area. They had uh, this uh, ruined texture instead of a cliff texture that I was looking for. So after many trial and error I found that the best method is to have it either completely flat or somewhat flat. So after the canal is made and the slope profiles are laid on top, the last thing to do is to place down some trees because trees are a great way to hide some imperfections. I'm pretty sure a smart man once said that trees are nature's makeup. And if he didn't say that, well he probably should. Now the project is finally complete and this is the final result. You can't see really that much difference in these before and after shots. The only thing that stands out is that the forest is a bit denser and that they are of course, well, fairies going through a tunnel now. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then consider leaving a like and subscribe for more content like this. Be sure to also use the comment section down below if you have any questions about the project or the mods that I used or, or anything really. Uh, but not your personal problems, I, uh, I don't want to listen to your problems and well if I wanted to then you know I would reach out to you so that's how it works, not the other way around. Why would you ask something like that? Well that's it for this video, I really liked making this video and I definitely want to do more like this in the future. So once again, thank you all for watching, I hope to see you soon, bye for now.